What's going on guys? It's Pete from PeteAcebook.com. Hope you guys are doing good. Have anyone, has any of us one? Want to know if you ever questioned yourself and wondering if what you're doing is wrong or what you're doing is not right and it just life just doesn't feel like it's the way it's supposed to be. Right, the first time I really looked for help, I was uh, at a seminar down the shore, beautiful hotel, and I went there not really not knowing anybody. I was in this room full of different strength coaches and different uh, business entrepreneurs, and I had pretty much the one question was, how do I make my business better? How do I make uh, Crank better than it is now? How do I improve Crank's systems, Crank's everything? How do I become successful in Crank? And I got up in front of the whole uh, conference room and I asked this question. And the man that was in charge, who's now my mentor uh, presently today, he's, uh, you can call him the baseball guy, white, always wears a baseball hat, same shirt, shorts, flip-flops, one of those soft like Saduki flip-flops, that's all he wears, he really doesn't change his outfit that much. Um, and he just sat down and he asked me, Pete, why are you so angry? And I was like, that's not the uh, answer I was looking for and or anything relevant to the question that I just asked. I just asked, how do I make my gym more successful? And at that time, I was just always wearing black stuff. I was black, black hoodie, dark, quiet, didn't really say much. And I said, nothing, nothing's wrong with me. I'm not, I'm not angry at anything. And then he repeated the question again, Pete, why are you angry? Not angry. Not angry, just want to know how do I make my gym successful? And then he asked me one more time. Pete, why are you angry and who are you angry at? And I'm not fucking angry. I'm not angry at anybody. Like I, don't, I, I just want to know how do I make my gym successful? How do I do this? How, do, how does everyone get to... Pete, who are you angry at? I'm fucking angry at the people that never told me that I could do anything. I'm freaking angry at the people that told me that I'm not going to do this and I can't do this and I can't do that because I don't hold the standards. I'm tired of the people that just shit on me all the time. I was angry at them because they're the people I was supposed to look up to. They were the people that were supposed to guide me throughout my life. Some of my teachers, my guidance counselors, the people in authority, my fucking parents. Those are the people that I'm angry at. I'm angry at them because they're supposed to be leading me into a direction where I'm supposed to be living, not into one where I'm supposed to be chained and held down and not believing in what I do. And at that moment, it clicked. At that moment, I understood exactly what it is I needed to do. And it all started with the one thing. And this is what he said. He goes, Pete, I know you're angry at them, and I get it. The reason I ask you those questions is because all progress starts with the truth. All progress starts with the truth. And right from then on, from that point, I've never looked back. I'm as truthful as I can with myself whenever I'm in a situation. I'm as truthful as I can with myself. Is it me? Is it someone else? It usually does start within you. So the main message of today is be truthful, be honest with the situation at hand. Try not to hide it and try to cover it up with more success or more money or more anything that's just masking the actual truth behind your situation. Your situation is very pivotal and sometimes you don't even know why you're stuck. And I didn't know. I didn't know I was angry or did I? Deep down inside I didn't know I was angry. But it wasn't until I let it out and understood that that anger is going to hold me back. I'll never look back now. And I want to thank that guy for this. I'll see you guys later. It's Pete, Pete Comment up, share this message, and make sure today you figure it out. What's the truth behind your story? I'll see you guys later.